cold, kind of had his sore throat the last couple of days, and Philippe started yesterday. We're wondering if it's been COVID. We'll see when we come back. I'm Leandra. This is my husband, Philippe. This is our son, Justin, and our dog, Scooby. We live in a remote community in northwestern BC, Canada, on the border with the Yukon and Alaska. During the week, we operate an organic wood-fired coffee roastery, and on our weekends and days off, we go exploring the remote backcountry. It's spring break, and we're on a five-day snowmobile loop that's taking us across frozen lakes and historic trails. If you'd like to watch part one and two, the links for those videos are here at the top of your screen. On today's episode, we are going to the glacier at Warm Creek, which is right close to the border the with Alaska. It was. But what a weather. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> That's snow. Ride, long ride in deep snow. That was like two and a half uh, feet of fresh snow. Good morning. We are on day four today. We made it to Fentil Lake around 7 o'clock yesterday night, set up camp, had some dinner, and uh, went to bed fairly soon after because we were sore and tired from a long day out there. Um, it snowed all day yesterday and it continued snowing overnight. So outside, it's a beautiful white world. <laughs> so the plan for today is to leave camp set up. And we're going on a day trip to visit the glacier. I can't wait. Before heading to the glacier, on Justin's special request, we are having a smoky roast. Justin outside, getting the campfire ready, so let's see how things are going. I think you got it going, eh? One hour later. Here we are on our way to the glacier and taking Warm Creek. It's like it's raining snow. Incredible. Dog taxi mom today. Leaf's just checking out where to go. The creek. It's open in a couple spots around us here. A few moments later, we find ourselves in over three feet of fresh fluffy snow. <laughs> Crazy snow. <laughs> After spending some time in this amazing snow, we find a way to keep going on the creek, and on we go. Okay. And the snow was coming down like rain, and then with the wind and like going in your eyes, I couldn't. I forgot my helmet in the tent this morning, and I had to pull my my toque down and like my balaclava up. To have, and then like just even with the tiny set it was so hurting my yeah. eyes the snow blizzard, was coming so hard blizzard condition and white out <laughs> the creek goes through wide open areas and narrow canyons
We slowly make our way towards the glacial moraine. I think we're uh, coming up on the glacial moraine. It's almost surreal being in this white world. We have moments where the snow is falling really heavily, moments where the wind is blowing across, and moments where we're completely in the whiteout, in the clouds. It's unique, that's for sure. Sometimes though, clouds lift a bit and we can see some sunlight poking through. It shows us a bit of what lies ahead. Good job everybody, we made it! What a day! Awesome! Yeah. <laughs> on the White Howard. Oh, crazy! It's insane! But man, that's what we do it for! <laughs> this is cool! Really cool! Really, really cool! Okay, I'm so proud of you Justin, you're doing such a good job! Yeah, yeah we're driving for on the other ice, so it's not right? Okay! Sounds good to me! Warm Creek Glacier is an unnamed glacier in northwestern BC, 14 kilometers from the US border. The glacier comes out of the Juneau ice field and drains into Tagish Lake via Warm Creek, Fantail Lake and the Fantail River. This glacier is accessible by snowmobile in winter, but in summer it's hard to get in here. We've heard of people trying with jet boats without much success. As we're on our way back to camp, Thoughts go through my mind of how it would be fun to fly over here with helicopter in the summer to see how it looks then. It's a blizzard condition and whiteout and very low light. It's very hard to see uh, obstacles in the snow. It was kind of light and whiteout, like everything looks completely flat. So you have to be very careful when you progress. You cannot tell if uh, where you're going in front of you is a whole uh, bump. It's super hard. It requires extreme concentration or focus to uh, ride in such condition. But it's still fun, of course. There! <sighs> Made it back to camp. The skies are clear here. There's even blue sky. That was crazy snow out there. Wow. Man, what a great trip. Now let's start the fire. See if we have enough firewood. So long. How did you like that, Justin? <laughs> that heavy, wet snow got all of us wet and a bit chilled by the time we arrived at camp. So once the fire is roaring and the tent is toasty warm, we all take our time to relax while waiting for dinner to warm up. So tomorrow the plan is to go back home. It's a long, it's a long ride though, uh, yeah. because of all the snow, 
we never know uh, we could have some now overflow, overflow again on the legs yeah slowing us down uh, too much that we have to camp somewhere on the way As the saying goes, all good things must come to an end. It's incredible that we're already on our last day. Though, well, you never know. I shouldn't say that. Lake now. We made it across Fantail Lake, no overflow, through the Fantail Trail to Tagish Lake here. Time for a little snack before we keep on going. As we make our way east toward Atlin, it's incredible to see how there's less and less snow and the weather is becoming more and more clear until the sunshine greets us with great big blue skies. We make our way home on a network of lakes and trails. guys for following us on this adventure don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay tuned <laughs> thanks bye